Sasa ni kusema. Greetings my my viewer. I'm so delighted today to host Daniel Motuko, a career coach and a, and a, and a personal development coach. When I were looking at what you can learn for, for, for you to become a fast trainer and for Abadan Drive, I knew no one else who can teach goal setting and time management like Daniel Mutuko. I have seen him. I've seen him develop from, from where he was to where he is today. And I can tell you, he has set his goals, Nikiola even a macho, with my eyes open. And he has been able to crush them. He has been able to attain them. And there is no better person to teach you something than that person who have been through it. Welcome, Daniel. And as first trainers, we are so super excited. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for inviting me to come and talk to the first trainers all about goal setting. I know this is the perfect time of the year to start thinking about your goals. So I'll go ahead and take you into a deep dive. And whenever you find something that is of value, just drop that in the chat or in the comments and say, yeah, I got this to be something that is of value. Probably I'm assuming that we have come across this uh, idea of uh, setting smart goals. And yeah, it's a good model whereby you have a goal which is specific, which is measurable, attainable, relevant and also time bound. So this is a good framework for you to start uh, with. And once you set a goal, try and check, does it really fit in all these five criteria? But at the same time, I would also want to mention that goals are supposed to help you to think of the future and also learn from your past. Think about your past. What have you done before? What have you tried? What has worked? What hasn't? And with that, you can use to plan and think of a future which is way better than what maybe you currently have at the moment. And so once you have set a goal, it is good for you to think about how do I have a plan or create a plan to make this goal come true? Because a goal without a plan is just a wish. And this is one of the things that make people frustrated when they keep on making goals year in, year out, and they don't achieve them. And when you look as to why, they didn't have a plan as to how, as to how they're going to achieve that goal. So today I'm going to give you that plan. And it's this simple. Set a goal, make a plan. That is what we are going to do in this video in the short, uh, in a few minutes. Then once you create the plan, get to work, work to it, stick again to it. But I will still say, stick to the goal, the end goal, but learn how to change the approach. You can always change the approach. And finally, you'll be able to reach your goal and will have the smiley face probably in the course of the year, at the end of the year, but you will be happy that you actually saw this too. My personal criteria, I know we have talked about the, 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 the five things, the smart goal, specific, measurable, uh, it realistic, time bound. But I would want you to have a goal that can answer the question, what? What is it that you want? And this is where the specificity comes in. I don't know if I got it correct, yeah? Specificity, or is it specific? What is it that you want? I want to lose weight. I want to earn more money. I want to increase my savings. That is general, but how much savings do you want to have? You want to earn more money. How much do you have a specific? Like maybe every month, I want to increase 10,000 in my income. I want to be able to save a thousand, two thousand more every month or at the end of the year. So try to answer the question, what you want and be as specific as possible. And secondly, give yourself time by when. I want to save 10,000, 100,000 by that year, December 2023. Or I want to increase my income by 10% of what I'm earning currently by March that so it's good for you to answer the question why and also be very clear on the time by when so that you're not just having it open ended because if it is open ended again you will not be motivated to take action and once you have done that the key thing here is to take action a good goal having even a good plan but without taking action Again, it's still a wish. So action is what really separates 
they're successful for those who are not successful. And to help you with that, I am going to give you this tool, which I learned some years back and has revolutionized how I look in terms of goal setting and actually creating actions that will enable me to achieve that. So you can download this worksheet. I'll give a link to Esther so that you can easily download this worksheet. It's a simple table, which is supposed to track your action and behavior. So you can see on one uh, column here, we have behavior or action. And then across, we have the days of the week, Monday through to Sunday. We have this column, total, target, and comment. And we'll show you how this works. So on this column, I would want you to write down what is the goal that you want to achieve, yeah? So as an example, you want to earn 10,000 extra each month. And another goal you might have is a personal goal. I want to weigh 55,000 by 31st month. So you can see each of these goals is answering the question, what is it that you want? And it's also clearly answering by when. Once you have identified your goals, under each goal, I want you to write very specific actions that you're going to take to help you achieve the goal. There's a difference between the goal and the actions, the steps that you're going to take. So as an example, if for example, you're running your own business, you want to earn 10 extra, uh, extra 10,000. If you are a salesperson, you can say, I'll do more sales calls. So that is an action you can take. You will engage more people, maybe on Facebook, you create a Facebook page, Instagram, whichever, engage people go to networking event. These are actions that you're taking that will help you achieve that specific goal. Then if it's about weight loss, you can go to the gym, run and all that. Once you have listed the action under the goal, I want you to go to this column here now, which is called the target column. And on the target column, you identify what are you targeting to achieve? When you're saying I will make calls, you can start by saying I'll make 10 calls this week. This coming week, 10 calls only. Here, I'll do maybe, I'll engage with a thousand people. If it is about a networking event, I'll go for one. So you set targets for yourself. And as the week goes by, you just record. It will take you five minutes at the end of the day. On Monday, how many calls did I make? Two. You don't think about it. Just record, sleep. Tuesday, wake up, do your thing. At the evening, ask yourself, how many people did I engage on Facebook? hundred, record. And at the end of the week, you have it filled up like this. You tally the total, take a look at the total, and here is the target, and compare the two. Now, when you start comparing the two, it starts giving you some patterns. It gives you some feedback, and you can now write in the comment, what are you going to do to improve? If you did 11 calls and you had targeted 10, would it be a good idea for you to up the ante and say, let me try this coming week, if I can be able to make 15 calls? You wanted to do walking. You can see here walking, the target was uh, five kilometers. You only did 1.5, you realize, oh, this walking thing is not as easy as I thought. So can I be more realistic and say, I'll do two kilometers this coming week. So these are the comments that you're using to improve your practice. Now, probably most of you use to-do list, whereby you wake up in the morning and say, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. I want to encourage you to ask yourself, when you look at that to-do list, are those to-do lists among these activities that are helping you achieve that goal? And if not, I suggest you create what we call a not to-do list. This is a list of things that you do that keeps on, would I say, keeps you busy the whole day, but when you look at it, they are actually not, not somewhere here helping you achieve your goal identify the things that you need to put on the not to do list so that you don't get derailed from your goal and stick to the things that will help you get to your goals. I know this is easy to do. The big question is, will you do it? And if you do it, if you rely on will, yeah, will you do it? Yeah. You might rely on your willpower, but willpower fades away from research. It has shown that you can rely on your willpower but in the morning, it is full tank. But as the day goes by, it fades away. Chances of you sticking to a very strict diet in the morning is very high. Rather than in the evening when you're tired, you had a busy day, chances of you just getting some fast food and messing up your diet is very high. 
So don't only rely on willpower. I want to introduce you to something called the why power. Ask yourself, why is it that I want to achieve this goal? And when you pull and when you try to get from your why power and drive yourself from why, why is it that you're doing this? It is said, once you understand you, the why you're doing what you're doing, even the, easy, uh, the hardest day become easy for you. And so that would be my challenge to you. Use the why power to help you achieve your goals. Over to you, Martha. Thank you so much, Daniel. I didn't know setting a goal looks that easy. It always looks, uh, it always looks strange, tedious, cumbersome, but you make it look so easy and it makes one just want to go and achieve and smash those goals. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you had mentioned you have classes that uh, that uh, that would help someone to get to know these lessons better. Maybe you can mention one or two of the classes. Okay, yes, up. I do run several uh, classes, like there's a coaching program called the Badass Pro Coaching Program, which is mainly used to help people be able to be very clear on their careers and their goals and how they can actually approach if you are targeting to get jobs with NGOs and international organizations, because it's all a goal setting exercise. Set this goal, this is what I want to get to, then we can be able to identify what are the steps you need to take we help you hold you accountable and you get there. So you can just head over to careerpoints.co.ke forward slash badass or careerpoint.co.ke forward slash courses. You can be able to see a variety of the courses that we offer. Thank you again, Danka, Dan. We really appreciate for coming and host and then for us to be able to host you. And for you first learners, yeah. this is one of those lessons that are you know, life changing. Let's learn from it and implement it and watch our life grow and go to the next level. In case you would want to see Daniel again, let me know so that you're able to invite him. Thank you again. I'm very much uh, excited. Thank you also for welcoming me. And maybe I can add something you mentioned. Yeah, I make it look simple, but simplicity is the thing that will make you achieve your goal. When you make it too complicated, you get overwhelmed, you don't have even the motivation and the energy to uh, get it. But even when you're doing your goal setting for the year, make it as simple as possible so that you get the motivation to go and do it. Otherwise, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, keep on watching all the videos on this channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the, uh, my, my viewer. That's all time we had for. Thank you and keep watching this channel, Abundance First Train, and also check Duncan Motuko, Dan Daniel Motuko, and you'll be able to learn more. Thank you so much. Thank you and goodbye.